Hi, welcome back. Hope Hi, you're everyone. doing pretty well. I'm Dr. Patty. I'm Dr. Angela. And I'm going to put Dr. Angela on a little bit of blast today because <laughs> she loves her coffee I do. and she loves her caffeine. I do. And I can say that I have struggled with my relationship with caffeine <laughs> as well. Um, but we call been... it a struggle. <laughs> It's just a love affair. It's very clear. <laughs> Mine's more a love-hate relationship. Hers is a total love affair. I know my limits. <laughs> so she's actually been telling me about a coffee alternative, and we wanted to share it with you. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, it's impressive because, you know, I've tried so many things over the years, and, you know, a lot of times things that are coffee alternatives, they have good body, but then there's no lift, or they have no body, and then there's a lift, but it's just really hard to find something that's satisfying in terms of the flavor and just the combination. And so one day I had already had two cups of coffee and I didn't want to drink more coffee that day. And I was at you know the local cafe and they had this beverage called mochaccino on the menu. And I was like, oh, what's this mochaccino? And so it was basically a combo of maca and cacao and you know some additional spices like, um, and I think it was like nutmeg, you know, it was tasty. Mm -hmm. And the herb maca. You know. Yes, uh -huh. yes, the herb maca. Mm -hmm. And um, it was delicious. Mm -hmm. And it was a really nice energy lift that wasn't at all like a racy feeling. It was like a mm -hmm. very um, fortifying kind of feeling. Who doesn't want that? Exactly. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is great. And so then I went into mm -hmm. the store and bought, you know, the bag of it. And mm -hmm. I was just using so much of it because it was wonderful. It's not overstimulating, so you can use mm -hmm. it in the afternoon. And it's healthy, it's full of antioxidants. And then I ran out of it. And so then I was looking at the ingredients and I was like, well, what else do I have at home where I could make this? Mm -hmm. And so I found a bag of you know cacao powder and a bag of maca powder. And then I had the little medallions, the cacao medallions. And so I combined those and I put What are the cacao medallions? I'll show about? you. So I love this company. Um, it's oh, called... co oh, cacao butter. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. Um, so the Sun Food Superfoods, and I'm sure there's other companies that make mm -hmm. this as well. And so this is just, room temperature solid fat that basically you put in. Yeah, I have this in my pantry as almost like a brick of yes. cacao butter. I had never and seen it like that. She showed me. And yeah, I, was like, I mean, these are super easy because you can just take, I have to kind of like shave away at it. It's actually the basis of a lot of herbal suppositories yes. and white chocolate. Yes, um, the creaminess, that Yeah, texture. and it's really good for hormone balance and mm -hmm. for brain health. Um, so sometimes I put it in a smoothie, but this is great. Yeah, and so this is the really wonderful part of this. It's like, you know, so this is the mochaccino and so there's different mm. flavors and varieties of this some are darker roasted so this actually kind of has that coffee feel to it in terms of the mouth feel um, it, but it also gives you a nice lift but it's it's an adaptogen so it like helps your adrenals so it's really good for energy it's also great you know traditionally in school like I had learned about maca for menopause mm -hmm. and hot flashing and then um, libido issues so a lot of like hormonal things and adrenals that's too. where I learned about it as well yeah but it's a really good adaptogen adaptogen and helpful for the adrenals. Exactly, I'd never really thought of it as like a beverage. Mm -hmm. And then I had this and it was great. Um, yeah, and then these were the other two I just, you know, in my pantry was like, what do I have that I can recreate this? So um, just some organic mock yeah, powder. And you, so tell us a little bit about how you mix everything up when yeah. you make it at home. Yeah, so um, I like things a little bit bolder. So I used a tablespoon of each powder and then I put a couple of the medallions in and then I wanted it to have a slightly creamier texture. So I had a collagen powder as well. And so that's great for you. That's great for your skin and hair and nails. And so it's just this really nutritious beverage full of antioxidants. And I have some right here, actually. Dr. Angela mixed some up for me, so I'm gonna try it. I gave um, everybody some for the holidays, too. Like oh, it was just... it's a great gift. Instead of making like a little hot chocolate mix, yes. although the holidays are over, so 12 months from now, yeah. <laughs> uh, or 11 months from now, instead of a hot chocolate sugary yes. um, you know, little mix, you could make something like this and give it to people and they could add it to hot water. But yes. I'm I'm gonna try this and I'll let you guys know what I think. It's really earthy. It's very earthy. Um, and I'm someone who doesn't, even when I drink coffee, um, I don't drink coffee black, so I'm not someone who enjoys that bitter taste. And this is something that I could do, um, and it's like kind of nutty and roasty, and yes. I really like it. But you know what I would do is I make homemade cashew milk. Mm -hmm. So I think I would blend that with this and I think it would be yeah, really Yeah, if you want like a milkier delicious. kind yeah. of basic. I tend to like like really dark, strong coffee, yeah. so I do less of that. I like creamy that. things. Yes, yeah. and, but so this is and the don't wonderful don't tell Dr. Part. Angela, but I probably would put a little stevia in there. 
if you haven't seen any of our other videos. Yeah, watch those she videos. Hates stevia. <laughs> so just between you and I. Um, but that was great. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. So I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's very satisfying. It's energizing. It's really good for you. And so it's always wonderful when we find something that's like tastes great, does the job, is healthy for you. So give it a try. And for some of you out there, unlike Dr. Angela, if you're more like me and actually really trying to cut down on caffeine, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a great alternative. Yeah. It'll give you a little bit of an energy boost. Um, it'll actually support your adrenals and balance your hormones. So there's a medicinal effect. Yeah. And you get that ritual of something kind of earthy and creamy that you could do morning or afternoon. So I think this is a great option. I know. And the beauty of it is like you're not actually doing anything bad to your body. You're I will say, yes, helping. you're yeah. fortifying. If, mm -hmm. if you are sensitive to stimulants, I wouldn't have this past, you know, four o'clock kind of like the same mm. as coffee was because it's still, you know, cacao powder definitely is energizing. It could energizing. be a little bit of a stimulating and maca as well so just you know start, and maybe start slower know. start with a teaspoon of the maca and work your way up and just make sure you tolerate that well but yeah it's Good delicious. To know. well thanks for watching thanks for sharing yeah. dr angela Good i definitely find. learned something and i think i'm gonna try this out <laughs> yeah so Let's hope back you here enjoy soon. share the video if you think that anyone would enjoy this and feel free to subscribe and we'll see you soon see you soon